The Wackness was directed in 2008 by Jonathan Levine and stars Josh Peck and Ben Kingsley in one of the most independent, low-budget, great movies that I love. And I first saw this film on, I believe, Crackle in 2016 at my cousin's house. And it's resonated with me quite a bit because I never had what Luke had, and it's pretty interesting. Jonathan Levine has been known to direct some somewhat bad movies. I think One Shot or a Close Shot, the new Seth Rogen, Charlize Theron movie. Uh, he made a movie with Amber Heard in it, and I don't like Amber Heard because of what she did to Johnny Depp, but we're not going to go into that right now. Now, this film explores the life of Luke Shapiro, a new high school graduate who sells weed to his therapist in exchange for therapy, and he falls madly in love with Dr. Squires, Ben Kingsley's daughter, Stephanie, played by Olivia Thurbley. And what entails is a beautiful coming-of-age movie about love, loss, and how to deal with a midlife crisis in very interesting ways, going on drug benders, and seeing Method Man with a Jamaican, I believe, accent, which is interesting. The soundtrack is perfectly executed and nailed, using a lot of hits from the 90s, such as Nas and Biggie Smalls and Tribe Called Quest. This movie is poss possibly one of my favorite Josh Peck performances ever. I was going to make another video about another film that I just finished again for the second time, but I'm going to save that for later. Now what I love about this film is the overall atmosphere, because it definitely has a 90s themed, obviously it's take it takes place in 94, in the year where hip-hop was rising, artists were thriving, and Luke Shapiro was out causing trouble, smoking weed, selling weed, and banging stepdaughters. Well, he's a virgin, so. There's a whole great scene where he has sex lessons, and it's pretty funny. There's a lot of comedy in this movie, which I really do enjoy. Ben Kingsley's a great actor. We don't talk about the Mandarin, though. All right, the Mandarin wasn't very good. Also, Funk K. Johnson, no, Johansson? I think it's Johnson? I'm not good with names. She plays Ben Kingsley's wife, who I forgot her name. Melanie, Miranda, Maddie, I don't know. The marriage is falling apart. We get to see Ben Kingsley as he greatly wants to reminisce his younger years, and he sees what he sees in Luke as a version of himself that he never got to really live out much. Well, when he was younger, not so much anymore. We see some predatory actions versus some legally, or uh, not of legal, no, uh, barely legal women. It's a little weird, but it kind of fits the movie's theme in people do things when they have midlife crises, and uh, yeah. So if you haven't seen The Wackness, I would highly recommend it. I know it is for sure on 2B TV, and I think it's on Crackle also, but I'm looking for a digital or a, a physical copy myself because I love the movie. I think Josh Peck is fantastic. If you haven't seen any of Josh Peck's independent films, such as Un uh, Locating Silver Lake, or The Wackness, or ATM, <laughs> oh, ATM, oh boy, or Red Dawn, he was in the remake with Chris Hemsworth and Josh Hutcherson, I would, I would recommend it. The Wackness is poss possibly one of the best mid-2000 movies that I've ever seen, and if you haven't seen it, you're doing yourself a disservice, so go ahead, watch it, and here. Ben Shapiro, no, Luke Shapiro's Roar.